So next we have a gentleman we haven't seen in a while, but it's good to see you here this evening. Uh, our code enforcement officer, Aaron, what do you have for us? Aaron. Nice to meet you. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I apologize for missing last month. I was on uh, vacation with my kids. Um, so for permits for the last, this is going to be for the last two months for the report. Uh, <coughs> total of 41 permits, uh, 15 plus, I guarantee that number off a little bit, uh, violations and complaints. Um, legal, as you've already gone over and approved one tonight, we're changing several local laws and there's still several more to come, especially after this last zoning board meeting. Um, there were several, and Carl was there so he can attest to wording and everything else. Um, certificate of occupancy is issued with three. Uh, certificate of, yeah, I need my glasses tonight. Uh, 36. Compliance. 36, compliance, I, I missed that one, yeah, compliance. Total of uh, 39, 39 closed out permits. Mm -hmm. um, Greenbrier Crossing is doing site work for phase two now, and we'll open a portion of those for sale in the near future. Five units have a temporary CVO on them, and some of them are occupied, um, or will be close to it within the next week or two. Several buildings that are in the process of being built are sold already, with the exception of just a few in the first phase that are not sold, and one of them is just being remodeled. Um, so they're still selling quickly. Uh, the Donovan Park flex space is, has been terminated by the, applicant, by the applicant and withdrawn all of his paperwork and applications and the offer on the property. Um, I have already had a call from another interested individual, um, so we'll see where that one goes for that. Um, Xerox, um, I have not heard from the owners of that yet, um, but we have had some noise complaints. Yeah. Um, actually several to be honest with you, but they are working on it, they're aware of it. They're just waiting for some parts for some machinery, machinery um, so they're well aware of it and they, you know, they do apologize for it, but it's kind of out of their control until they get these parts. And we know. It's a big fan that's over on the I believe that's what it is, right, Jake? I'm not sure. You know, they were uh, discussing their handling unit and uh, dump work for that that needed to be shipped in there. Yeah, 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 so they are originally that stuff. Um, so as you can see by the permits, there's a lot of projects going on, um, with several open permits and work being done. Um, one thing I added on that's not in the report for you folks is we had an issue with the codes program, so that's missing about 30 permits. This is all for Greenbrier Crossing. Um, so Donna, I actually have to update you on this as well, so we'll be meeting with you on it. Um, some of the paperwork the county just didn't get in so some of it was just missed. Um, so we have to add on some of the permits. It actually mostly affects data, but um, so my numbers are kind of off for the last several months because we're adding about 30 permits total for the probably the last six months. So other than that, if there's any questions, concerns, let me know. I'd be more than happy to help. So there are five units that uh, have a certificate of occupancy um, there at Greenbrier? Yes. They, they, well, they all currently only have temporary CFOs, but yes. Because they just have a few minor things to do, like they got to finish grading and, and some seating and stuff like that. Other than that, it's all set down. Well, are we moving right along? Yep. Yeah. Um, do we know anything about the uh, Donovan Park flex space? Uh, owner there pulled out, I believe. Uh, yeah. The one who was there with nine buildings, he had proposed that to uh, the uh, planning board. Um, but I believe that there might possibly be someone else who's interested. Yeah, like I said, they, we have had another call. They haven't told us what it is yet, but uh, we'll see. Um, it's unfortunate to see the other gentlemen and stuff pull out because they you know, got all the approvals, they were ready to go. Um, spent a lot of money on engineering and everything else, but see what we can do with it. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Okay. Very good. Anything else that you might have for I was asking, how are we doing a country manor? Yeah. Country manor's still uh, still coming along. I um, haven't had the only complaints I've had from there are just the rent increases. Um, so that's you know it's good because that doesn't affect us. Um, 
yeah, they're still still doing what they're supposed to be. Um, still some con con some condemned units that they got to take care of, but uh, yeah, so far they're holding up their end of the bargain. So, yeah. Thank you. Any movement on the um, law office, sir? No, we've had a lot of different people calling to ask what they could do there, and it's nothing's happened yet. There's actually several, uh, I think three or four different storefronts that are open. Um, it's just a matter of those businesses, whether they'll fit in those spaces and the landlords or owners want to allow it. Because some of them don't want to cut holes in the sides for venting and stuff like that, so, you yeah. know. Oh, one other thing, how about uh, the old church mall? Yeah, yeah um, I've not heard anything from them actually. I did try putting a call on them just the other day because we haven't heard anything from them in a while. Um, have not gotten any calls back, so I'm curious, yeah, curious to see what's going on with that because he was working hard on what he had to do and, you know, we got the structural engineer's report and there's just been no movement on it lately. Um, you know, the other half, the west, the west wing of it's you know still open with Maria's, and you know a few other business in it. They're still, they're still up and running and, and going, but nothing on the actual church part. So hopefully, I'll have an update for you on that next month. Yeah. I, I'd like to get that one taken care of. It would be. It would yes. also be uh, important, I think, in terms of because it's a great opportunity. Um, as we are applying for the um, grants, yes. uh, you know, uh, if he has no interest in moving on the building, it's right. not going to be helpful. Right. Do it. Uh, that would be a nice key point. So we'll see what happens. All right. Well, thank you, Eric.